mood mapping is amazing. It allows you to change the tune, the instruments, even the mix to get exactly the sound that you want as the scene progresses. Variations allow us to change the tune, while changing the mood changes the mix. Clips which are indicated by these three blue lines are clips which can be mood mapped. So let's just turn off our single layer stereo clips and let's turn off the store just for right now and let's look at our multi-layer clips. Let's search for one called The Gift. If we play it, very nice. But if we change the variation, notice how we go from that gentle start to something much more intense. Or maybe we want a different start again. Variation takes the exact same piece of music but starts it at different places to give us an entirely different tune as a result. But the real magic happens in mood mapping. Here, for instance, we can select not just the full mix, but various combination of instruments as part of the piece. Let's, for instance, start with, oh, let's start with leads. Breakdown. And full. Is that not neat? I can change the instrumentation by simply selecting a different mood. Well, this in and of itself is great because we can then click the export button and export whatever variation and mood we happen to select. But when we take advantage of the power of the integrated timeline, which is new with version 6, we can accomplish some amazing musical changes. Let's start by displaying our video section. And here is a video which is a little bit of video talking head with Dr. Surf and then more video again. Wouldn't it be cool if we could score all of this but have the music change depending upon whether we want it full for images or under for Dr. Surf. Normally all we do is adjust the volume but now we can adjust the instrumentation itself. Let's search for a song called <laughs> You Can Call Me Pal. And let's grab this and drag it down to the timeline. This section allows us to see the waveform and to adjust the volume. That's that black line. But down here in the darker blue, we can change the mood. Let's just scroll with the playhead and find the spot where Dr. Surf shows up, right about here. And we're going to set a mood by right or control clicking in the dark blue area and add a mood. And then we'll wait until we see Mars again when Dr. Surf is done talking. Control click and add a mood. If you don't get it precisely right, you can grab the gold line and drag it back and forth and trim it to the position you need. You see this triangle right here? That indicates that there's a transition, a blend, or a crossfade between the first mood and the second mood. We can change the duration of that transition by highlighting the mood that contains it, the one on the left, go to the inspector and grabbing the transition slider and making it faster or making it slower. You can also click here and type the value that you want that transition to be. The default setting is two seconds, but you might find that one second provides a quicker, sharper transition and four seconds makes the blend much more subtle. We can add additional mood map keyframes by putting the playhead where we want the keyframe to occur, make sure the mood map section of the clip is selected, and click this button right here. We can add as many additional moods as we want. Remember the mood section needs to be selected and click that button. To remove a mood, right or control click directly on the dividing line between moods and say delete. To change a mood, select it by clicking on it, go up to the inspector and change the mood. Say we just want to have leads or just want to have drums or just want to have it be a breakdown. Again, select it and change it inside the inspector. Let's get rid of this one here. Control click and go back to where we were. Oh, by the way, you see this triangle right here. This allows you to adjust the volume for the entire track. Grab the triangle, drag it up or down, and you can make the clip louder, up 
or softer down. Now that we know how to add and modify mood settings, let's listen to what moods sound like, and let's listen to the full version first. At the speed of light, it's 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars. All right, I won't play the whole thing because it's a little bit noisy. The drums are getting in the way. So let's select this middle section, go to the inspector, and when we've selected something in the mood section, the mood mix control opens up. I'm going to just have this go to dialogue. And now we play it. At the speed of light, it's 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars when the two are farthest apart in their orbits. That means 40 minutes of round trip time. Now that's not bad. In fact, that's a whole lot better than simply just pulling the volume levels down. But I want to take this another step. Keep dialogue selected. Go to the inspector. I'm going to take the percussion all the way out. And now we're going to just stay with that ethereal feeling. We'll pull the bass down just a bit. At the speed of light, it's 20 minutes one way for a radio signal to get from Earth to Mars when the two are farthest apart in their orbits. That means 40 minutes of round trip time. And the thing that works terrestrially, called TCP IP, does not work very well over interplanetary distances because the delays are literally astronomical. And again, I don't want that ramp to occur while he's talking. I'll just pull it down a bit. They're literally astronomical. And again, I would start to tweak levels so the music comes down a bit more and Dr. Surf comes up a bit more. But you begin to see what the potential is. Let me give you another example. Let's go with um, another piece of video, something dramatic. Here we have a reconciliation scene. Two women talking that ends with a hug. Let's see if we can't add some emotion to this. Let's search for a piece of music called emotional guilt. Okay, a lovely piano piece with some strings underneath. Let's drag it down, make sure that it aligns with our video. It doesn't, so I gotta change the duration by grabbing the edge and have it automatically recalculate to fit the duration of the video. Now, if we play this as is. Well, what's you doing down here, hon? You really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. Now, most of the time, you want a piece of music to start and build. So I'm gonna click here and add a mood and change the beginning so that we have it be, oh, let's just have it be strings. And we start with the strings. Well, what you doing down here, hon? You really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. I care about you. And then the piano comes in, we've got the full big group. But one of the things I found is that sometimes I want to focus the intensity on the person speaking by making the music more minimal as opposed to fuller. So I'm going to flip this around and have it start full and then have it just end with the strings. And notice how much more dramatic it makes this woman's statements at the end. Well, what you doing down here, hon? You really don't care about anyone. I mean, how do you expect them to care about you? I care about people. I care about you. Look, hon, it ain't too late to change. Start acting nice. Maybe stop assaulting people. Calling them names. God, I'm just so sorry. Notice that as we made the music less thick, we were focusing more on the dramatic performance and emotions of the actresses. Rather than letting the music drive, we let the actresses drive the end of that scene. The ability to change the variation, to change the instrumentation, to change the very mix itself is the power 
of mood mapping.